We've all heard about the awesome Shao ESP32 boards. They're tiny, have a USB-C port, and can do everything a regular ESP32 can do, and even more. It supports programming using the Arduino IDE right out of the box. But what if you want to run CircuitPython? This board supports that too. You'll just have to set it up once. This video will take you through that setup. Let's download all the necessary files. All the links are in the description. First, let's download CircuitPython. Go to circuitpython.org and search for your board. I am using an ESP32-S3. Open the download page and download the bin file. Next, we'll need Thonny. We'll use it both to flash circuit Python and write code later. Go to thonny.org and download and install Thonny. Now put your ESP32 in bootloader mode. Connect the board to your computer. Press and hold the boot button and then press the reset button once. Open Thonny. Open Tools and then Options. Go to the Interpreter tab and at the bottom, click on the ESP Tool option. In the target port, select the port of your shower board. Then at the bottom, click on the three lines button and select Select Local Micro Python Image. Here, select the circuit Python image we downloaded. And click Install. Once the install finishes, the shower board should reboot. If it doesn't, unplug and plug it. It should show up as a USB drive named CircuitPy. This means you have successfully installed CircuitPython on your shower board. You can now use Thonny to code and run Python. Open Thonny. Select the COM port of your board. The files should show on the left side panel. In that, open code.py file. This is where we will write the code for our ESP32. There is already a Hello World program on it. Click on the Run button to test it. It runs as intended. Next, let's write a simple Blink sketch. Run the program. That's it. We can now run any CircuitPython program on our shower boards. Next, if you want to remove CircuitPython and go back to the factory default firmware, I'll show you how to do that. First, let's grab that factory firmware. Open the Seed Studio wiki page from the link and make sure you are on the right segment for your board. I am using an S3 version, so I am downloading from this section. Download the factory firmware file and extract it. Next, put the ESP32 in bootloader mode. Connect the board to your computer, press and hold the boot button, and then press the reset button once. Now, in Thonny, open tools, and then options. Go to the interpreter tab, and at the bottom, click on the ESP tool option. In the target port, select the port of your shower board. Then at the bottom, click on the three lines button and select Select Local MicroPython Image. Here, select the factory firmware image we downloaded. And click Install.
and done. Now you can code your ESP32 with the Arduino IDE. Comment if you have any question regarding the steps and like the video if it helped you.